hello there welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you guys how to use corona render for cinema 4d to create a very photorealistic car shader let's go all right so here we are in cinema 4d um the first thing i want to do is to create a new document so go to file new project and change the render settings um the render from standard to co-render so you need to do for the render settings for now okay so let's create a very simple sphere and change the segment to some around this to get a more smoother um ca okay let's draw in a very simple corona sky and change the type from physical to hdri and load in a very simple hdri into a scene so i want to use this one um this garage hdri and make sure we disable the visible directly we don't want to see the hdri in the render okay so let's click on our interactive viewport to see what we've created so far all right so this is what we have and this is real time so this is what um this is the render but just real time over here so now we can go ahead and create a car paint shader but before you create you need to know that car paint shader you need to create two materials one seven as the base and one seven as the coat um the first time i created a car paint shader i thought okay cars are reflective so let me just create a very reflective material increase the final i want give it a fancy reflective color and it didn't really work out great for me so um i found out a way a very simple way watched a couple of youtube tutorials and uh, you need to create two materials so let's just create a material and name this base and create another material and name this one quote so let's apply sorry name this one quote let's apply the base material to a uh, shade double here all right so double click on your base material to open the material editor and activate the diffuse the reflection and the bomb you're going to need just three channels for the base material for the diffuse let's set the color we want our car to be and i've already um copied the color already so i'll just paste the code here and um this should change in a bit okay so for the diffuse decrease the level to somewhere around 20 percent and um that's what we need to do for the diffuse so for the reflection you create a fresnel over here open the fresnel and paste the same color over here too so let's open the color code and paste the color here and for this side to paste the same color but this time i will tint the color just a little bit and um that's about that all right so let's go back to our reflection channel and over here in the closeness channel i've prepared um a texture map already so i'll just browse onto my hard drive and open up a particular texture map i'll drop the link to um down i'll drop the link in the description to download this particular texture map so let's just open this one here and um let's zoom in and see what we've created all right so that's working great for us and um let's use the same channel let's use the same map over here so we can right click here and copy this and paste this in our bomb channel okay so that's for the base material let's apply the coat material to the material to the shader ball and open the double click to open the material editor for the code we will need just the reflection channel so for the reflection let's change the final ior to 999 it's crazy but this is the best way to do this so 999 and for the anisotropy we can change it to 0.3 and that's what you need to do for the codes um for the base material i forgot to add something that is the reflection the final ior we should set that to five as well so now we need to create a layered material and plug these to the base and the code into the layered material so let's go to corona over here and click on layered material so double click on the layered material to open the material editor once more and drop your base material into your base channel over here 
and the codes into layer one and um, apply this base material sorry this layered material onto our shader board so this is what we have now we have a blend of our base material and our coat material 50 percent of the base and 50 percent of the coat and it's not turning out quite as great as we wanted so what we need to do now is to control the blending so we are going to use fresnel for that and we are going to do it over here click on this small icon once again and click on fresnel i think the fresnel is too much so we can just open our fresnel over here and um, change this white to somewhere around 60 percent gray let's just go here and do 30 percent gray should do okay 30 percent gray or maybe just feel free experiment with what works best for you so you need to experiment and do what you think works best for you so that is it a very quick way to create a realistic car queen shader for corona and but we need to apply this onto a raw car to see the effect really well so let's just do that but first of all i will just group my material select all of them right click and click and say add to new layer and this layer i can name this layer car paint I can name this red car paint okay then select all again edit and copy this i've prepared a scene already so i need to go back to my scene and um, paste it over here so edit and paste and i have my my layer over here so i just need to open this car all right so let's click and drag our material the layered one onto the car let's fire up the interactive viewport to see what's going on in our scene um i have a red shader already so maybe we can tweak this a little bit but we have to do it on the base because that's where the color of the car is so this color i'll choose something between here maybe a blue color here and for the reflection the fresnel i can change that as well this to blue. i'm just doing a very quick one so i'm not paying attention to the details really well And apply that same material to the side of the car here and um, that's that so let's just change the camera and go and see what we've created It's a very simple method to create a realistic car shader and it looks very great. That's how powerful Corona Render is. Very fast, very realistic. Alright, so this is how you create a realistic car paint shader with Corona Render for Cinema 4D. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section and I'll be sure to answer all the questions that you guys have. Support my channel by liking and sharing this YouTube video and subscribing to my channel to see more. See you in the next one. Have a great day.